my name is Dr. Marcia Hawk and welcome to this podcast series on the value of education. So there's been a lot of debate lately about the value of education. There are some who purport that um, it is an overvalued asset um, because it's costing too much. Um, and then there are some that says it's not needed. There are a lot of employers who are dropping the requirement for college degrees and they're telling people, you know, don't worry about it. And I understand that, you know, that, you know, market conditions um, will change demand. But I'm going to share my experience with you in 2001, right after 9-11, I lost my job and I had a very difficult time finding employment because I did not have a college degree. So it took me several months before I was able to find something. And during that time, I re-enrolled in college and decided I was going to go back to earn my undergraduate degree. And earning that undergraduate degree in 2007 was one of the most, um, just, it was really an amazing moment for me. I did not go to my graduation. I've only been to one graduation. (laughs) It's it's funny. Um, I never show up, but I did go to the one at University of Missouri, but it, it was a, it was a change for me. Now I felt free. It was like having the freedom to get a job that I was entitled to, um, that, or I was qualified for entitled is wrong. I was qualified for. And so, um, it drove me even more because I had such a wonderful experience um, during my undergraduate program that I decided I was going to go ahead and get my MBA. Well, I did my MBA. I did my first three MBA courses. Um, I, I received, I think two A's and one B in the course, but I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was, it was serving my purpose. And so, um, because of my college education experience, Um, with my undergraduate university, which is Charter Oak State College, I decided I wanted to go into educational administration. I saw it as an opportunity for me to help other students to deal with some of the, um, you know, the the issues that they face, um, you know, trying to get through college, especially as adults. And so um, I enrolled at the University of South Dakota, earned my master's degree in adult and higher education leadership in 2009 and then went to uh, enrolled in the University of Missouri's um, education specialist program um, in information science and learning technologies and then I went back to the University of South Dakota and finished up my doctorate degree there recently earned another degree in um, information systems from Little Georgia And I will tell you that all of those experiences collectively have really reshaped my life and, 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 and they have given me the, the confidence to really step out and be the person that I need to be in order to survive in this world. And so when I hear people, uh, devalue the, uh, the, uh, uh, college education, um, I sometimes question their motives. Um, sometimes it is not intentional. It's uh, not understanding its value because experience is the biggest teacher of, of life. And so if you haven't had a college degree, then it's very hard for you to speak about, you know, the benefits, the value of it. But, you know, I will say that if you have an opportunity especially as a female or a minority student, please get your education. Now, not college is not for everyone because it's hard work. I remember being in my graduate program the first semester. I enrolled in, I think, four or five courses, and I was ready to drop all of them because I was like, I can't do this. I, I thought I was superwoman. And I had a great professor by the name of um, Dr. Avosa, and he said to me, he said, Marsha, you can do this. And he says, you know, I'll give you an extra week, whatever you need, 
to finish up and I was able to finish all of those courses um, in one semester, which, you know, was not a smart decision on my part to take that many classes. But I was glad that I had a professor uh, and I really enjoy this class. He's an awesome, really awesome um, professor, by the way, at the University of South Dakota. Um, but anyway, getting back to why education is so important, especially for minority women, it's because you are challenged in the workplace. You'll be challenged in the workplace. If you have a business, you'll be challenged. And sometimes I have found that the, my only, the biggest leverage for me is my education. Is that people understand and respect me, not only for my technical skills, but for my education. So I have some leverage there. And this is what you will encounter as a minority if you're going into the workplace. Even if you are super smart and you don't have an education, it will be used against you um, in ways, lower income, okay, lower raises, lower bonuses. And so I want to caution you, be careful of what you hear. Um, and don't follow all the advice that you get. Now, having said all of that, I will be the first to say that college is hard work. As I mentioned to you earlier, it's a lot of research. It's a lot of writing. It's a lot of, you know, you, you taking a position on a specific topic and having to defend that position and have it to defend it with, and having to defend it with literature, um, you know, peer reviewed literature in, in the, in perhaps maybe in the last two or three years. So it is hard work. But what you get from that is, you know, this kind of, I call it superpower in your toolbox of communication and understanding and knowledge acquisition and being able to weed through all of what you hear and see to get down to the details, to the nitty gritty of, of the truth, of what's factual, um, of what's been tested, what's been understood, and what is truth, what is the truth. And so, if I had to advise my own children on getting college degrees, I would tell them, absolutely. And I'm encouraging you to pursue it. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. And I'm going to tell you, you're not only changing the world with your education, you will change the world, your world, your own world. That makes it even more important. And education is not something people can take away from you. That was said by B.B. King. It is the most beautiful thing because learning is not somewhat, something that they can take away from you. And I'll tell you that beyond the technical and practical skills that you gain in college, the most profound is the ability to think for yourself. The ability to intuitively know how content is being manipulated or has been manipulated, what it means, what it is meant for you as a person. And I'm going to close with this quote, very powerful quote. And it says that education makes people easy to lead, but difficult to drive, easy to govern, but impossible to enslave. This was said by Peter Bruham. Get your education. Get your education. Build your critical thinking skills. Get your education.